everyone welcome back to a vintage vanity and it is day two in the life cycle of our wet set so keep watching and I'll show you exactly how we did this style the first thing I always do is brush everything out get all the knots out of the hair and how much curl I have at the end of the day really all depends on how my day went and I did get rained on a little bit so it's a little bit um <laughs> Not as curly as it normally is. Now, I also tend to take a little bit of argon or Moroccan oil because I do have bleached and colored hair. So I want to make sure that I get moisture and nourishment to the hair, especially the ends. So I just run that through. And then essentially what I do is really quick pin curls. Basically doing larger sections of hair and these should be fairly easy to do considering that the hair is already curled so it's already going to kind of want to go into a pin curl and i just start from the base of the hair and wrap around two fingers and like i said i take large so if i was doing this as a pin curl set i would actually be taking much smaller sections of hair and they'd be completely wet this is just to keep the structure of the curl in the hair for another day Okay, that is everything. It is all rolled up super quick. It should really only take just a couple minutes to do that. And then all I do is take a spray water bottle with just water in it and give the hair a spritz. So you don't have to get it super wet. You just want to get a little bit damp so it can really lock in those curls. I don't worry too much about the directionality of it. I'm just trying to reinvigorate the curl and uh, pretty much that is it. If you need to, go ahead and put your netting back on to keep your curls in place. That is it. You are now ready to go to bed and uh, when we wake up in the morning, I will show you what happens. In an attempt to multitask, this section of the video will be done via voiceover. So here the next morning, I am simply and easily, obviously, removing my pin curl clips. Get your fingers in there and break up those curls. Really shake it all about. You want to break up some of that product that's in there as well. Then grab your brush and just start brushing through the hair. You're going to use the same technique of smoothing it over your hands, rolling the curl together, and really at this point you're getting an idea for what your curl wants to do. We're going to do a side part for this look and we're going to have that side part right at the corner of our forehead and once we find that we'll just brush from there. To tame the hair a little bit more I'm going to use Style Sexy Hair's Control Maniac. This will tame any of the frizziness or flyaways in the hair and this is a wax. If your hair is hard to hold curl you are going to use more of a water-based pomade. It'll be a little bit lighter on the hair and you're just going to kind of draw that through the hair. On the lighter side of the part, I'm just going to go ahead and comb these curls really smooth, kind of give it a nice sleek look, and of course tuck it behind my ear because I really like the way that looks, and really just kind of mold and shape those curls as you're brushing. Using my teasing brush, I'm going to tease the crown section of my hair from the part that you see here to the opposite corner of my forehead. And I'm just gonna back comb at the very base of the hair. So you're just gonna keep doing that until you have that crown section back combed. Then I'm gonna give this pink fluff on my head a good dose of hairspray. Again, taking that teasing brush, I'm simply going to lightly brush over the top of the tease section of hair. You don't want to brush into it because you don't want to remove all the work you've just done. You just want it to look nice and smooth. And you'll see I start putting my hand underneath the hair where that kind of swoop in the bang would be. That's so I don't brush it completely out and lose all that great height. And then I just start to work it with the with a brush and also with my hands to really give it direction and more definition in the curl. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave this section in so you can see kind of how I work that out. For the rest of the hair on that side, I'm just using my brush and my hands to 
kind of calm down the curl, define it a little bit more. And I also will begin taking smaller sections of hair and working that not only with the brush, but with my fingers as well. That can really kind of separate out the curl, give it a little more volume on the side. I'm gonna start to lock the style in place by using my finishing hairspray, Big Sexy Hairs Spray and Stay. And I run my hand over it while it's still wet to control any extra flyaways. I'm gonna use my booby pins to keep that hair tucked behind my ear. And I'm just gonna make sure to use two bobby pins and cross them in an X to make sure it stays nice and stable. I decided I really wanted kind of a smooth curl, so I went ahead and kind of kept brushing those curls so they were a little bit more uniform and smooth. Voila, our look is complete. I hope you guys really enjoy day two's hair tutorial. As always, subscribe so you don't miss a minute and comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of today's look and be sure to tune in next week for what we do for day three. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. To -bye. see how we did this because it was super curly, guys. I am not kidding. Like Shirley Temple was like, oh girl, that's some tight curls. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started.